Hello, everybody. It's me. This is so four of four of my Stranger Things series. Have it all blended up here. It's my Castile base with aloe vera and goat's milk. The essential oil blend is a fun one. It's actually not exactly how I was envisioning it, excuse me, but I had less ylang ylang and cedar wood than I thought I did. This blend contains rosemary, palma rosa, uh, orange, and a little bit of cedar wood and ylang ylang, and it is interesting. I really do like it. The rosemary was not planned on, <laughs> um, but I do find it to be fitting. I enjoy it. Did add some shea butter to it as well. We're very, very fluid here, which is good. I had read that Palmarosa accelerates, and there's not a ton in here. Like, it's not pure Palmarosa, but obviously we're not accelerating. We're super liquidy still, which isn't a bad thing. I just sort of, ooh, sort of thought that it might go a little bit faster. It didn't. I'm gonna go super straightforward on this, and I'm doing Tiger Stripe with the uncolored, the green, and my kind of coppery. This is meant to be a little bit more burgundy, and that's just the color that I got. Uh, but this is my Joyce Byers soap, and she sort of had uh, a burgundy and off-white striped shirt with a green jacket on it. And she goes up into the upside down with her will, and I thought, I'm gonna use that color scheme, because why not? And on top top of each bar. It's a Christmas light that I made out of soap dough. I'm going to show you how I did that right here. It was super quick. Check that out. Okay, now that you've seen that, I just showed you one because it's really the same for every single one, <laughs> but those are going on the top of each. All right, scooch this over. We're doing tall skinny mold. One more quick stir of my colors here. going to be wobbly until it gets a little bit more full. That's fine. Whoops. Freaking poured some down in the side again. Mm. I cannot get the silicone liner out when there's wet soap that sets up in between here. I'm glad there's not enough in there for me to be screwing up the design by getting up in here, but I have to get up in here now or it's not ever going to come out. Ooh, that's the worst. Oh. Okay, let's hope that, oops, let's hope that got it. I'm gonna put you guys at an, this at an angle here and pour a little bit better like this. plastic cup can pour better than a other plastic vessel. <laughs> soap down there. You know what? I've got enough time to get this out. Let me get it back in. It's not that full yet. It's slushing around, that's for sure, but honestly, if this ever happened to you, I think you understand. If it, like, soaks to the side of your wooden mold, you 
I literally cannot get the freaking silicone out. And it takes at least a half an hour to get myself just out of the box. No, thank you. I don't think so. This might be wonky. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm gonna hope this is good enough. Very gently and gingerly put it back in. Oh dear, okay. soap into a cup. The cup seems to be pouring nicely, so it's very full. Oh, wasn't that fun? I think I'm up for some green next. I honestly don't know. We're just going to start over with the green. Folks, there you have it. <laughs> As I was uh, probably about halfway through pouring, I realized this looks kind of Christmassy. Yeah. I'd say it smells kind of Christmassy. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get Christmas lights on top. Okay. Yeah, this could easily pass as a Christmas soap. Um, I don't wanna roll with that. If that's what you want it for, good for you. Go for it. <laughs> I don't think that I went on a ride alert would care. <laughs> I'm gonna do my little heart swirl, what I've been doing on the top of my soaps lately, all the way down. I was gonna drizzle some mica, but I really like the way that that looks. So I'm gonna do that. And then I think it might be, as long as I'm very delicate, and hopefully I have to take my gloves off, I should be able to uh, put the lights in without them sinking to the bottom. Yeah. Swirl away. I think this should be a good uh, tiger pour. I'm excited about it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm, I almost don't want to put the lights on top. Let me get a photo of that now real quick, guys. Forgive me. Dang flash. Oh well. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it a slight angle with these guys here. take one glove off. I'm really nervous that I'm slipping out of my hand and getting ruined because I had had them before. These little heads. Ooh, it's kind of sinking. Let's not put it in kind of nose first. switch it up and be like yellow, green, red or something. Maybe I'll switch all of them up so it's not the same all the way up. Not that it matters once I cut it. Oh, you didn't even see that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, things look like Christmas lights to people. Or lights that you would communicate with your missing sun with. If I would have had more room, I would have done some other cool stuff with the lights, but what are you going to do? Have enough room 
for this and I'm okay with that. Yeah, no gloves is the way to go for this and I'm just trying not to touch the lie. The sorcery soap dough uh, recipe for the soap clay in case you were eliminated. I didn't need any of the sculpting tools for this. This is really just as you saw the later crop. Um, yeah, I just kind of made an oblong shape and then put a little end piece on it. Pretty straightforward. One. I think I spaced them out perfectly too, which is exciting. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Well, let's like, come up with something better. This is just going to be called Joyce Byers. Um, Castile soap, it's got algae juice, it's got goat's milk. It's got palmarosa, rosemary, orange times five, cedarwood, and ylang ylang essential oils, and it smells mm, lovely. All right, hopefully I can come into it tomorrow, and I will uh, see you guys then. Oh, hello everybody. Here's my accidental Christmas soap, <laughs> Joyce Byers, in the Stranger Things series. This is the last one. Pretty boring on the outside, as you can see. Curious if we did achieve tiger stripes on the inside, so let's go ahead and find out. Can I open my spacing? Um, my embeds is good as well. I will probably cut them where it seems appropriate and not as much use. I mean, this is a guide definitely, but if I need to adjust it to not cut an end off and you know forego what that says, I'm totally gonna do that. Now let's see. Do it. Yeah, it's super Christmassy. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh, don't care. Love it. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. I always wanted to do a tall and skinny tiger pour. Kind of did with Bombay mojitos, but it was a short bar. I didn't have that much lime oil, so I couldn't make a huge. <laughs> yeah. I don't even care. If people want to think this is a Christmas soap, good. Buy it up. <laughs> it smells so good. The rosemary and the orange are just like completely hugging each other. The cedar wood brings a crispness to it. And uh, the palmarosa and the ylang ylang are really just in there and you don't know what it is you're smelling, but it adds to it. It's so pretty. For red and green. This should have been more burgundy. I don't care. I mean, it's, it cracks me up that it's so Christmassy. But I still like it. Like, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I 
each one is a little different too because I wasn't the per most perfectly straight pourer. Oh, cut one end of this guy off. That's okay. That was a really huge one. But yeah, each one looks a little different, which makes it interesting. But here's this side compared to that side. Definitely different. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. It would have been cool to do them all with essential oils, but I really felt like Eleven's bar needed to smell like waffles. I had a waffle scent. I couldn't not use it. You know what I mean? Oh, that one's really even and symmetrical like. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yeah, people are going to see that. And they're going to go, I don't know who Joyce Byers is, but she's got a really nice holiday scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. I'm going to feel so pretty symmetrical. Check that out. Yeah. I love this pour. You really don't even, when the batter is this fluid, you don't think you're, you're getting it right. I didn't think I was getting it right. It just disappears into the soap batter, as you saw, and you think, oh, I hope that turns out. Well, it did. Sing yourself to sleep. That's a fun one. It's cool when they're symmetrical, but it's also cool when they're kind of abstract. Look, a couple air bubbles in here. Oh, remember when I was screwing with the bottom? The bottom still worked out. Like it did, didn't get all like shooken together or anything like that. Is shooken a word? <laughs> that worked out. Ooh, it did stick. The silicone did stick to the wood part of my mold a little bit today. I was like, are you kidding me? Um, I got a butter knife and I slid it in between the silicone and the wood and I actually felt it like lose suction once I detached where it was stuck together. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, I usually don't have a butter knife down here, but I grabbed one from upstairs today and was like, you know what? I'm not gonna try to push it out the bottom because that's frustrating and it takes 20 minutes. 20 minutes of like squishing all of your edges too most violent way to get it out of there. Boom! Love this. I love this. I hope I sell the shit out of this for Christmas. <laughs> Alright, last one. Last one. I want to flip it this way. Let's see if I smacked you guys. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Nice, beautiful end. Lovely. Alright, and there you have it. Choice Buyers and Accidental Christmas Soap about Stranger Things. <laughs> this concludes my Stranger Things soap series. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Apologies that I did not make a video for Friends Don't Lie. I just didn't have my my computer down here and I honestly was like oh, it's too straightforward to even worry about but looking back I could view any of these designs as kind of straightforward I should have done a video but oh well hindsight you know what I mean <laughs> there's these beauties I'm gonna take some photos of them probably tomorrow after I can clean up the edges a little too soft to be doing any beveling today guys so I'll do that tomorrow take photos for you thank you for watching I really hope you liked it uh, please tell me what you did think Thanks again. Bye-bye.